Hi everyone, I'm so excited for this video today mainly because I'm going to be talking about this limited edition brush set from Hakuhodo that I found. Um, this is no longer in the market and um, I've been wanting to have this for quite some time now. Now I first saw this brush set on the IG post of Sonia G. Now if you don't know her, Sonia G is a brush enthusiast and she also has a wonderful brush line that I have yet to try. And um, she posted this sometime in, was it October? I can't, of 2019, I can't remember the exact date, but uh, when I saw it, I had to pinch and zoom on her post because I wanted to see how beautiful the colors of these brushes were. Now, um, after I've seen that, I tried to do some research and I found out that it was a limited edition and it was sold only in specific um, locations. Now, for example, um, in Singapore, like I saw on the Hakuhodo Singapore Instagram page, this was sold as the sky blue set. And they were only selling 300 pieces and the accessories were different to what you see here. Now, I also saw at the Hakuhodo USA Instagram page that this was sold as the Hakuhodo Reiwa Celebration Sky Blue set. And this set actually had a brush bag, a cleaning cloth, and a soap. Now, um, I think this brush set is sold differently in other parts of the world. The accessories that goes along with it also differ. Through all my research, I've also bumped into a blog entry from a Thai girl when this was released in Thailand. I couldn't find that blog anymore, but um, some of the freebies that came along with it was like a travel purse. It was so cute. It was so cute. And there were also some people who blogged about this and their brush set was made in silver with like a nice blue ribbon. I saw these being sold on an online reseller shop here in Metro Manila and it was labeled as the Reiwa Celebration set. Now I was a little bit apprehensive at first to buy it when I saw it, this in person because um, if this was dubbed as the Reiwa Celebration set this would have supposed to come in a silver box. Um, the soap was supposed to come in a silver box and the cleaning cloth was supposed to be white. But um, as I've said earlier, I think depending on where this was um, initially bought, um, the accessories would differ. And the, also the other thing that this is missing is that this is supposed to have a card that would describe each and every single brush um, in the set. But it doesn't. Anywho, I'm just so glad that I was able to find this because um, I have been wanting to have this brush set for some time now. And um, I can't believe it that I was able to find it here in Metro Manila of all places because Hakuhodo brushes are a very niche market and only a few makeup artists are acquainted with the brand and I'm so glad that I have it with me right now. You might have heard me repeating myself saying Reiwa Celebration, Reiwa Celebration. This brush set is actually a commemoration of the Reiwa Celebration um, to commemorate the Reiwa era, the ascending of the new emperor of Japan onto the throne. That in itself is quite special. So I'm gonna flip my camera over and then we're gonna have like an overhead view um, on top of my table so you guys can see um, each and every single brush and accessory that came with this set. And I'm also gonna be showing you some um, comparisons from other brushes that I have um, with me on hand. But before I do that, um, one other update with my scar. I still have my scar here from that minor accident that I was talking about. Um, if you've watched my Revlon Color Stay Cream Foundation review, I was wearing a bandage, um, but right now I'm not wearing any bandage. So it's going well and I'm just treating it so that hopefully it doesn't scar in the future. And I'm not wearing any makeup today, by the way. It's just all skincare and nothing else. So this is the Hakuhodo Reiwa Celebration Sky Blue Brush Set. This set comes with the polyurethane brush bag that has 18 slots for different brushes but you can only use 17 because one of them is in the crease when you fold them. Now aside from the belt bag, it comes with a brush cleaning cloth. Now I have been wondering about these cleaning cloths for a long time because I only see them when I only buy makeup brushes in Japan. So it's actually very soft to the touch and I actually like the tan color because it's actually easier for you to maintain than with a white cloth. 
And aside from that, you have this small card on how to care and clean for your brush. Now, as I've said earlier, this is supposed to come with a card that would describe each and every single brush that's in this set, but I don't have that right now, which is okay because I can just see it on their website. Now, the other thing that comes with this brush set is this cleansing bar from Hakuhodo. Um, it has been damaged, so I believe that maybe that's why this didn't come with its silver box because that silver box might have been damaged as well so um but it's no big deal for me because i would end up using this anyway for cleaning brushes okay i'm gonna put these aside because i'm going to be talking about the brushes now so this set comes with five beautiful brushes now i have to say that what attracted me to this is the color of the handle now um i really enjoy the color blue and this is just so beautiful, I have to say. So the handle is made of wood and I think it must have been painted in this light blue colored first before this dark gradation was applied. Now I have to say that based on my observation, I think these are all like dark blue shimmers that gradually lightens as it nears the middle. Now, as you can see here, you can see the Hakuhodo name in silver, which I guess is a trademark in Hakuhodo because even in their paper bags it's also in silver and it shines and shimmers and it changes color depending on the light. Now the ferrule has a nice silver color it might be plated I'm not too sure but it goes very well with the color story of the brush set. It looks very nice and dainty. So in this brush set we have one powder brush, one blush brush, one foundation brush, one lip or concealer brush, and an eyebrow brush. So it's a very basic brush set. Now I'm gonna talk about these one by one. Okay, I'm gonna start with the powder brush and this is the B206 brush. Um, this is a flat and round brush, which is designed to apply a generous amount of powder in one go. Now on um, this brush, you actually use it on the side and not um, at the top. So it actually melds into the planes of the face and it's actually very very soft if i if only you guys can feel it the way that i do feel it it's actually very very soft now um since this is a mix of goat and synthetic fiber it has a lot of spring to it and it actually goes back into shape after it touches the face the specifics of these brushes are actually found on the website so if you want to know um, how many millimeters um, the length of the brush head is it's on the Hakuhodo website if you want to know how thick the brush head is it's also on the Hakuhodo website so you can always go and check them out there now um, I don't have any brush that I could compare this to because it's been a long time that I've been using brushes for applying powder but I have this very old Laura Mercier powder brush that I've had since I think 2006 but I haven't used any more because I tend to use sponges now to set foundations on the face. Now as you can see the Hakuhodo B206 brush has bloomed um, fantastically mainly because I have kept the Laura Mercier brush with a brush net because as I've said I haven't used this in years so I have kept this in my drawer for safekeeping. Now this B206 brush retails for 6,050 yen. Next brush is this B110 brush. So this is a round and flat blush brush. It has the same design as the um, powder brush, the B206 brush, because this is again also designed to be applied flat on the face. The brush is made of pure goat hair and is designed to pick up a right amount of product to apply the right amount of color on the cheeks. Now for the sake of comparison, let's compare these two brushes together. This vermilion handled brush that you see here is from the S100 vermilion range of Hakuhodo, which is their flagship brush range. Now, um, in terms of numbering, this is a B110 and this is an S110. Now the brush heads are of the same design, same thickness, and same 
length. Now, even if they're almost identical to each other, the S110 is more expensive than the B110 brush that you see here. Um, mainly because um, the ferrule is gold plated and the handle is designed differently. And also I think because it's double the price of this brush, um, the goat hair that's used here is of a much more higher quality than the B110 brush. Now by comparison, this is my oldest blush brush. This is a Laura Mercier um, Blue Squirrel blush brush. Now I haven't used this also in years and it has also bloomed extensively from lack of use. And as you can see here, it's almost the same size. It's almost the same length, but they have a difference in density. Now this is very, very soft to the touch and very soft to the face. It can actually um, compare to the blue squirrel brush head of Laura Mercier here. And um, it also has a nice spring to it, although it doesn't jump back into shape the same way as the um, powder brush did earlier because this doesn't have any synthetic fiber on it. Now this B110 brush retails for 4,730 yen. Okay, the next brush I'm going to be talking about is the G552 brush, um, which is a combination of goat and synthetic fiber. Now think of this brush as a stippling brush because it's, as you can see here, the brush head is at an angle and this is actually perfect to use when you want to stipple or apply a foundation at a specific part of the face. So you can use this, you know, by the cheek area, near the nose, under the eye area, or if you want to build color at a specific area of the face. Now, um, I haven't used this yet, but for the sake of comparison, I have a G5553 brush here also from Hakuhodo. Now, I have to say they're almost the same and they're almost identical, but the main difference is that on the G552 brush, which is this blue handled brush, the synthetic fibers are actually longer by four milliliters while on the g553 brush as you can see here the synthetic fibers are actually shorter and clocks only at two milliliters the g553 brush here the, with the black handle has more goat fibers on it so this will actually pick up more product and impart more coverage on the face than this now I have to say I have used this brush a lot and I've used this for applying foundation, applying cream blushes, applying liquid highlighters, things that it's a very, very versatile brush. And I actually like the fact that I have another extra here because since the fibers on the G552 brush, this blue handled brush is longer, this will actually impart a much more thinner coverage on the skin. So I'm glad that I have these as a pair. Now the G5 had two brush retails for 4,070 yen. And just for the sake of comparison, the G5553 brush also retails for the same amount of money. So these three brushes on the set are actually what I want to have. Um, the main reason why is because these other two brushes are actually just like, you know, a minor add on to these three just to complete a set. Okay, now this is a J5549H brush, which is made out of horse hair. Now this is an eyebrow brush and it actually at a slight angle, very, very dense. And I'm sure it would impact a nice amount of color on the eyebrows or it can help diffuse colors on the eyebrows. Now um, for the sake of comparison, this is my old Laura Mercier um, eyebrow brush and the brush heads have a very different design from each other and also very different in terms of thickness and length and width. So I'm actually quite excited to try using this brush because I haven't used a brush this wide before. Now the other brush that we have here is the B516 brush. Now this is actually a very versatile brush. This can be used for concealer or for lipstick now the brush head is made of synthetic fiber and i like the shape of the brush head now for the sake of comparison this is my old laura mercier secret camouflage brush and the main difference that i see is that the laura mercier tapers to a sharp point while this stays rounded 
And I'm also excited to use this for work because I haven't tried using um, a full synthetic brush from Hakuhodo. Now this brush retails for 2,750 yen. So it's more expensive than the J5549H brush which retails at 1,870 yen. Now, although this brush set is a limited edition and these blue handles are no longer being produced, um, the brushes actually still belong to the permanent collection of Hakuhodo. Now, this B206 brush, this B110 brush, and this B516 brush belongs to the B series of Hakuhodo. Now, this J5549H brush belongs to the J series of Hakuhodo and this G552 brush belongs to the G series of Hakuhodo. So if you go to their website, you can actually purchase these individually or as needed. Okay, that's it. Um, I hope you found this video to be helpful and insightful and if you have um, any plans of buying uh, Fude or Japanese makeup brushes, maybe this video could have helped you or maybe inspired you to go get some. So that's it for today and if you have any more questions, please leave them at the comments box below or just send me a message and I'm going to look forward to our conversation regarding this. So please do take care and I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are.